community acquired pneumonia, what kind of bugs are you thinking about? Anaerobic infection, other bugs. Community acquired pneumonia. Mm. It would be hard to say just on his temperature alone. Um, I, th sure. I think so. And in looking at him, the other things I would consider, especially in somebody who has COPD with the Haemophilus influenza mm -hmm. as a possible mm -hmm. causative agent. More oxide colorless would be another causative agent to consider. Okay. Mr. Kaufman, we're just talking here about your <coughs> case with our medical team. Okay. Um, he is a farmer in Waimanalu. Um, he currently is on levofloxacin. Uh, I'm assuming from the notes they started that in the ER. Okay. Um, it sounds like a reasonable empiric treatment until we get culture results done. Culture results All right. Who can give me the mechanism of action of levofloxacin? <laughs> so it's a quinolone. <laughs> You've got the right class. <laughs> Excellent. I understand we have one more patient to see. Last minutes that we have. Huh? Let's go. Uh, Dr. Sakai, nice to meet you. Hello. Hello. Dr. Sakai, it's nice to meet you. Hello. Thank you for letting us come to see you today. I'm here with our medical team. Okay. We're just going to talk about you for a little bit, okay? Hello. Okay. We're taking care of Mr. Uh, the patient is a 27 year old Hispanic female librarian and who came in due to severe re respiratory distress due to like allergies like old books in the library. Um, mm -hmm. She was given um, a nebulizer treatment of butyrol at the, an admission seven hours ago, but that didn't help. But as of now, seven hours later, she's responding to it and she's much better. And Good. her ABG, um, she had acidosis. Mm -hmm. What were the ABG results? Can you share that with it's us? 7.32 and with increased carbon dioxide. What was her CO2? Uh, oh, oh, 50. 50? Yeah. And then... And the rest of the blood gas? Oh, uh, PO2 is 60, so it's decreased. Um, bicarb is normal, 23. And then SAO2 is also decreased. An admission. So we have a 7.32 pH. We have an elevated CO2. By chance, do you happen to know the respiratory rate? 20. The respiratory rate is 20. And at the time that the ABG was done, uh, any idea what the respiratory rate was then? 20. 20? It didn't change. Didn't change? Okay. Um, the important thing about the respiratory rate when you look at a blood gas of someone who has uh, status as a or has an exacerbation, <coughs> is that when we see a patient who is particularly to kidney, and we see a CO2 on a blood gas that's 50. And that already tells us that there's uh, a gas exchange problem that may be significant. The person is really breathing quickly. 20 is not that high. People with asthma can come in much worse with a respiratory rate much higher. Uh, but when they are breathing really rapidly, you see that high CO2, this is someone that you have to be you know, very, very concerned about. How have you treated her? Um, I'll be 
utero, anything else? Okay, oxygen. Any anti-inflammatory agents for her? Okay, so prednisone. You're giving her a corticosteroid. Plan two. Plan Yes. Okay, so giving her some type of uh, steroid, I think, would be very important to do immediately. Uh, so sometimes right in the emergency room, we see our patients, we might give it uh, right there. So I would suggest if you haven't started already, to order that right away uh, for Mrs. Diaz. Mrs. Diaz, is it okay if I take a listen to your lungs? Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Nice if we had a uh, cover. Do you have a cover or a blanket or a sheet? No. No. Not, that's all right. I know it's rather warm in the hospital today. So. <laughs> okay, Mrs. Deans, I'm just going to pull this down a little bit. Mrs. Dianza, is it okay if some of our other students have a chance to listen to you as well? Yeah. Okay. If you haven't heard, Mrs. Dianza, why don't you take a listen to her now? Sounds like you're going to be continuing the treatments, the albuterol, the steroids, etc. and see how she does. Okay. okay, guys. We're going back to real life. Okay? A couple of thoughts I have for you. 